Hello students, welcome to MSK Academy. In this particular video, we are going to discuss regarding the job notification released by Bank of Baroda, which is India's international bank, regarding the recruitment of human resource on regular basis for various departments in the Bank of Baroda. Okay, so you can see here the application already started on February 19th and the last date for submission of application and payment of fees is going to be March 11th. Okay. And all of you can go through all the important note points and you can see here regarding the details of positions and eligibility criteria as on February 1st. So the first one is Department of Information Technology. Regarding this particular department, total 32 positions are there and all together there are 350 vacancies are there. It is a great opportunity for all the students who have done B.Tech or M.Tech in uh, Computer Science or Information Technology or even some of the positions are applicable for EC branch as well. That also I am going to show in some time. Okay. And you can see here with respect to uh, the position for every respective position, how many vacancies are there and corresponding age limits you can see and the corresponding education qualification mentioned. And in addition to that, the most important thing for any of the position, okay, the one of the most important condition or requirement is along with the educational qualification, you should have the minimum experience with respect to every position, the minimum experience is mentioned here. So accordingly, you people can check based on the whichever as per the eligibility condition mentioned here with respect to qualification, education qualification and the post qualification experience, whoever applicable accordingly, uh, you people can apply for the respective position. Okay, at the Bank of Baroda. Okay, fine. You can see all these positions related to information technology, right? Then even the students who have done de uh, in data science or machine learning and AI, those students are also equally applicable with respect to the respect to position you can see here. And the corresponding experience you can see in the last column. Okay, now you can see here manager, network administrator or officer, network administrator and like that we are having various designations. So here it is mentioned even not only the students who have done B.Tech or M.Tech in computer science or information technology, even the students who have done B.Tech in E.C. branch, even those students are also equally applicable here. But here this is the mandatory, the networking certifications from Cisco or Arista. Aristo, okay, it is required and along with that here minimum experience mentioned regarding this particular position, you can see here minimum three years technical experience in IT out of which at least one year experience should be in the field of IT networking. Whereas with respect to this particular position, the minimum one year technical experience in IT preferably in the field of IT networking. So like that you can observe here with respect to the position and the corresponding eligibility criteria with respect to educational qualification and the corresponding experience as well. Okay. Right. So all these are the positions regarding information technology department. Okay. And these are the positions regarding the department of trade and forex. Okay. Five positions are there. Total number of vacancies are 97. So here also you can see the respect to eligibility criteria with respect to education qualification and the corresponding experience as well. And then uh, the positions regarding department of risk management with respect to that 18 positions are there and number of vacancies are 35. And here also you can see the respect to education qualification and the uh, experience also after the qualif qualification over with respect to the corresponding degree. Fine. And then department regarding department of security. So with respect to that one position, number of vacancies are 36. Yeah, you can see here with respect to each department, they have mentioned the corresponding reservation basis, the corresponding how many vacancies are there for each uh, designation wise, it is mentioned here. So all of you can check and before you are going to apply, you people can go through the corresponding vacancies provided here with respect to the category wise. Okay. And then here you can see here, this is one of the important note, whatever the various departments for which they have released the notification. So you people can apply for any one post. 
any one post and one location only this is the mandatory suppose if any student apply more than one application form they will be considering whichever is the latest and valid and whichever is the complete application they are going to select that one only okay right yeah coming to the upper age limits with respect to the category wise they have mentioned the here upper age limit relaxation so accordingly you people can check right and then one of the most important thing regarding application fees with respect to general category EWS and OBC candidates the application fees is going to be 600 rupees in addition with applicable taxes and payment gateway charges right and whereas the students who belong to SCST, PWD and women category right for these students the application fees is going to be 100 rupees along with that whatever the additional charges are there okay right and you can see here regarding the scale of pay with respect to category wise and the uh, grade wise also you can observe here accordingly you can observe here the payment scale scale of pay so here starting is 48,480 rupees and the maximum is 85,000 rupees 85,920 rupees like that you can see with respect to each grade and the corresponding department you can see here okay and then credit history this is the most important this is the most important regarding credit history before you are going to join okay before you are going to join so that time you should have at least credit score wise civil score you have to maintain minimum civil score as 650 that is a mandatory condition okay right and okay like here probation period will be there that is for one year duration probation period will be one year duration okay and after that here you will be having bond also regarding service so the bond period is three years time three years time okay eligibility criteria you can see we already discussed earlier right and here regarding the selection procedure you can observe here there will be online test okay there will be group discussion or interview will be there right so coming to the online test so even though qualification wise it is mentioned with respect to technical like whoever from btech or mtech from computer science or information technology or from data science or even from ec or whoever from mca whoever done mca so like that various uh, degrees it is mentioned with respect to qualification but here coming to the coming to the exam syllabus point of view there is no technical part so you can see here with respect to uh, like syllabus point of view here various tests are there like there are four sections are there okay so the first section is reasoning number of questions are going to be 25 and maximum marks are 25 okay and english language section 2 english language number of questions are 25 maximum marks are 25 section 3 quant aptitude number of questions are 25 maximum marks are 25 so that means first three sections together 75 questions are there 75 marks are there the duration is going to be 75 minutes okay so here the questions will be in which languages it is mentioned here wherever bilingual is mentioned so along with english you will be having in hindi okay all right and coming to the section four the professional knowledge here you are going to have 75 questions the weightage is going to be 150 150 marks and the duration is going to be 75 minutes so all together you can see total number of questions are 150 and the weightage is uh, 225 marks and the duration is going to be 150 minutes okay and here you can see all the important note points it is mentioned with respect to each section wise section or test one two and three all together okay with respect to that you should have minimum qualifying marks or percentage of marks in each of the section would be 40 percent for general and ews category and 35 percent for reserved categories okay right and coming to the section 4 section 4 at test 4 so here it is the important note point you can observe here there is the negative marking here it is there so if you wrongly attempted there will be 0.25 mark deduction will be there but if you not attempted any question there won't be any deduction okay right yeah next one this is the important note point regarding examinations centers with respect to online test or gd or interview so you can see here whatever the centers with respect to online test and coming to the GD or interviews the respective centers will be notified later in the official website okay yeah 
So this is one of the most important regarding GD or personal interview. So just go through here. The minimum score in each test or section should be a minimum total score in the online test to be shortlisted for the psychometric assignment, assessment or group discussion and our interview. Okay, there should be minimum total score. Okay, fine. The minimum qualifying marks or percentage of marks for GD or personal interview would be 60% for general category and 55% for reserved category. Okay. While appearing for group discussion or personal interview, the candidate should produce valid prescribed documents. This is the most important. Okay, otherwise they will cancel. Okay, in the absence of documents, candidature of the candidates shall be cancelled. So all of you make sure if you want to be get selected, so all of you produce valid documents at the time of group discussion or personal interview. Okay, right. So coming to the official website, you can see here bankofbaroda.co.in. So from that official website, you can apply regarding the application form of this particular post. Okay, right. And all the guidelines you can see and yeah. So regarding each category, the respect to roles and responsibilities, everything has provided in the annexer of this particular PDF. So the complete details in detail provided in the description in the in this particular job notification PDF total you are having 44 pages. Whatever the important points are there with respect to eligibility, qualification, okay, regarding application or the modes, whatever the various tests are there, what is the selection procedure, etc. All the important points we have covered in this particular video. Whoever want to no complete details about this particular job notification. This particular PDF we are going to provide in the description of this particular video. All of you can kindly go through and whoever eligible for these positions accordingly you people can apply and all of you can share this video link with all of your friends so that whoever uh, having the eligibility to apply for the post whatever released in the Bank of Baroda. So accordingly those students also can apply and get the golden opportunity. Okay, so that's all in this particular session. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.